your number one gym to be. Stay strong, healthy, and fit. Get ready for your Fit 7-Eleven home workout. Hi guys, my name is Rebecca Bartel. Welcome to Fit 7-Eleven. And this is actually a workout where you will miss a little bit more cardio and strength and everything like powering on because we'll go a little bit back, back to the roots. So important is you have to know if you want to do athletic workout, there are three main topics you have to train to get your performance better as an athlete. So it's strength, it's endurance, and it's flexibility, of course. And the fundamental is always stability and mobility to have enough strength in your exercise or your movements so we can get prepared. That is the what an athlete should do, preparation, so movement prep. So I have a role today. You have to prepare your role. And I don't want to actually explain too much about rolling fascia because it takes a little bit of time and we just have 30 minutes. So you just take your role, we start to roll the back chain and some parts of the frontal chain going over to mobilization. So to have more movements and mobility in your ankles and in your hip, in your toric spine and your shoulders. That four parts are for movements okay and then we'll do stability core stability because it's important in all exercise like lower body upper body and to keep your posture that's it so let's go further because time is running let's get prepared you can put off your shoes and let's start with your lower back okay going to the floor placing the roll to your lower spine level one place your hands over here coming up and roll Important is just to know you have to inhale and exhale. Don't keep the breath in. And in one movement, rolling forward and backward, keep your legs in 90 degrees. If it's too much, you just place your forearms to the floor or just take a roll what's a little bit more soft and roll. Four, about 15 rollouts. Yeah, don't stop. Continues in 15 roll out and now we'll go up to your spine to your toric spine and not to your shoulder plates keeping the roll in the center now you see i'm changing my position of the arms placing my hands to my head supporting my neck yes legs are still like this and exhale inhale on a scale from one to ten if one is really easy and ten is too hard you should not be over seven, okay? It's your personal feeling how you want to roll, of course. A little bit more soft or a little bit more intensive, but you have to feel it, okay? You want to lose the tension on, on your fascia and your muscles. self fascial release. So it's a self-massage. Okay, now we're going to your shoulder plates. Watch for your hands. And make sure your arms are straight. Lift your hip, incline position. I'm just with the roll on my shoulder plates, trying to get length in my arms, pushing my hands to the floor, and exhale. And try to find where you feel more tension. And then you stay on that point and roll with short rolls. Now I'm shifting my weight to my right shoulder plate. And we will stay on the right side from your shoulder plates. Yes. Exhale and inhale. Don't keep the breath inside for four, for three, two. Now we'll change the side, shifting your weight on your left shoulder plate. Yes, keep going. Good. For four, for three, two, and one. From here, we're going to mobilization. The roll is on your shoulder plate. And you're trying to go with your hand behind your head, stretching your chest, mobilizing your shoulder joints. And if you feel like too stiff in your neck, just go a little bit more up with the roll. But you have to make sure you can still do the movement from your shoulders, hip, booty, lower spine, still to the floor. Keep going. Get length in your movement. Stretch, hold, and stretch. Make sure your elbow is really straightened. And four, three, two. Okay, you have your roll. Now you're going to mobilization, pulling your head to your chest. 
The roll is at the starting point of your shoulder plate, a little bit lower. And now we're going to a bend movement for your torque spine, pulling your neck slightly to your chin, to your chest, stretching your neck. Exhale, open, and inhale, good. You see the booty is on the floor, just concentrating to your upper body. Please, full range of the possibility of your body, full range of motion. Flex and extend. Go back, yes. I need four more. Guys, of course you can do, if you train alone, much more reps, but we have a short time. I just wanted to show you what you can do actually to get really good prepared movement preparation to go further with your main exercises. Let's go for two more. Inhale. Exhale, lift your chest, drop your head. One more. And the last one. Coming up, pulling yourself up on your knees, turning around. And now we go for your quadriceps. So over here, placing the roll. Of course, you can go also for calves. But now we're going on this point. If you start rolling, your chain, frontal chain, lateral chain, or back chain, always start from the floor from the bottom to up. So if you want to just go for the back chain, you start with your calves, you go further with your hamstrings, glutes, lower spine and up. Okay, rolling. Coming up to your hip. Yes. You see that? You can lift your foot over there, up, forms placed. Good. It's about 15 to 30 rollouts. You can do it also, but if you're preparing, it's enough to do about 15. Good. Now I need your inner thighs. Watch, I'm switching the roll, turning it, and going to my inner thighs. So if you see athletes are preparing and in the beginning of their main workout to feel more flexibility, to have a better performance, pain release even, so you can do that in preparing or afterwards, that means post-workout, after-workout, to get a better recovery. Okay, let's change the side. I'm switching, I'm turning, you just change leg. Just want to show you where I'm placing the roll. Other free leg is 90 degrees to the side. And roll. And if you feel pressure, stay on that point. You see, I'm shifting my weight to feel where is the most of pain what I have, maybe I'm sore, maybe I'm tired, maybe I had a workout before, find that point and roll on it. Yes. Okay, you ready for four more rollouts? Going up to your hip flexor. Yes. Good, keep rolling. Try to relax on your roll, don't be stiff. It's the same if you're going to massage. And therapist says, hey, relax, don't be stiff. Exhale. Okay, let's go for four, three, two, last one. Over here, turning the roll, and your ties. And going from left to right, a lot more forward and backward, and roll. Actually, it's really important. You will feel more recovery, you have more performance, you're not so tired, you have less pain. You should roll about two to four times each week or depending on what you really need. But actually, this is a good recommendation to go to four, two to four times each week. So I'm going to my upper body, going back to mobilization for my toric spine, chest and shoulder joints. Starting on my knees, open your feet and rolling forward and rolling back. Watch for my spine. Forward. Roll is placed under your forearms. Exhale. Inhale. Chest pressing to the floor. Rolling in my spine. Taking my chin to the head, to your chest, and keep going. Forward. Backward. Exhale. Hold and pull back. Yes. It should feel good. Arms are straight. So if, a, if you are a big person, bigger than me, you can take a long roll because the hands should be opened, pressing down, 
Let's go for two more. Exhale. Yes. So you see I'm rolling, but I'm really focusing on mobility, on mobility. Okay. Shoulders. Placing the roll to your left side. Taking your hand, switching opposite. And laying on your shoulders, rolling back. Let's go. Spine to your roof. You see the lower spine and going back. Good. Pressing your shoulder to the floor. You should lay on the floor, going back. And roll as far as you can go. Remember, I told you you can do more reps, actually, with more time. Let's do two more. Go further. One more. Good. I will change my side. You will change your side. Stay in that position. One hand over here, placing to roll. And through and back. Pull back. Exhale. Wait for a second. Coming back. Good. Make sure your knees are open. Should feel good. You will feel it in your shoulders, but actually you'll feel it in your laterals. In your back side. Going back. Exhale, roll, hold, go back, good, two more, and the last one, good, okay, now we start now with your hip, and you can place the roll to the side, starting position is sitting, open your feet, hands backward, legs are 90 degrees, we're starting from left to right, mobilization for your hip. Hip is really important because it's a mobility part of your body. So mobility means it's really important for a lot of movements in daily life or in sports. Hip flexibility. So hip is a joint, what is mobile. And if you are stiff in that, you will always feel more your lower spine or even your knees. So the joints, what's under that hip, knees, or what's all above your hip, lower spine, they're stable normal, uh, normally. And you, if you have less mobility in your hip, you will feel knees and lower spine. So the topic is, please make sure hip is mobile. You have to move, movement, just move. So four, three, so level two, hands away. You see, it's 90 degrees up and your spine, is really straight. If you really slip in, go back. You have that? Okay, let's push up. Hold, hip, press out, elbows in one line, going back, switching your leg, coming up, hip. Extend your hip. Switching your leg, normal hands to the floor, coming up, press. So what I'm doing is the posture, chest out to my hands, leave the elbows in one line to your shoulders, and change side. Yes, last one on the other side. Change, and up. Coming to the center back. So now, please pull your left leg backward in one line. It's hip and knees. This is in one line. You see where I'm going now? Is circle. You see that? Back, circle, and switch. Right one, circle, straighten your leg, and switch. Go back, and you see, our goal is it to take that knee back in one line to your hip. Circle and switch. Good, keep going. Circle and switch. Good. Circle and switch. Full range. All above, come on. Go back, posture. You can correct the posture again with your hands. Circle back good give me two more with all the hands on the floor good now coming up and hit place your feet to the floor this one in front and hip to the floor arms up and now pressing in front hip to the floor and downward Thumbs back, chest opener. Good. Place back. Come up. 
Straighten your leg, hamstring stretch. Go back. Movement number one. So your arms in the V, chest out, chin away from your chest. Go down, place, up. Try to stretch. Push your heel backward to the floor. Coming down, open. Back, up. Straighten your legs. Try to get better in that movement because you're quite warm now. Last one. Back. Good. And stretch. Going back, stepping backward. Torque spine, shoulders. So if you're doing yoga, you know that position. So try to push yourself away from your hand wrist, arms and legs, and of course your spine should be straight. Open your feet, shoulder wide, and change sides, stepping in front, lifting your chin away, pushing back, laying down, flex, and up. You see that pushing? Here. But first, pull your hip to your belly button, and then you go down. You feel stretch more in your legs and your hip. Open, push down, thumbs back, chest out, chin away, and hold, hamstring stretch, lift the booty, both legs are straight, good, go down, exhale, full range, go back, take the speed out because you have to feel the stretch, use that moment, go back, I need two more. And if you're feeling like there's one or two millimeters more you can go, try to feel that stretch. Pull your arms more back, go lower with your hip, placing your hands, straighten your leg. Last one. Up. Good. Going back. You can go also on your hands, like protecting your hand wrist to the fist if you want to. Okay, come back to the center. Stretch over here. Going, shifting your weight to the left or to the right. You see it comes, feet in one line. Thumbs, you can place them in the center, chest out. Both feet are on the floor, changing side. And now we'll go a little bit more further. We're starting on your right side. Position number one, hands under my shoulder line, leg is straight, pushing my heel back. Number two, turning back to the center and turning back. So a quarter turn, but make sure your posture from your upper body stays above straight. Don't drop. Push the center from your body down and lift your shoulders, chin away from your chest so you have that. You feel the stretch over here, hip, hamstrings, and over here, the length of your leg in the frontal chain. Going back and coming to Kozak. Woo, in the thighs. But this is always what I see. Don't miss to place your heel under your knee, not too far over here, because the heel has to touch the floor. Going back, one, two, three. And now we will do one movement. Yes, good. Turn, sit, back, two more reps. Good, yes. And one more, changing to the side. So this is a lot of hip, because this hip is really important. You're sitting a lot maybe, and you always feel lower spine and knees. If you're not enough, there's not enough mobility in your hip. Okay, come back to position number one. You see from your heel over here to your head in one line, pushing your heel back, you feel more stretch, coming in a quarter turn to the center. Make sure your heel is on the floor, being in one line to your ankle and your knee. Straighten your right leg, coming back to the center, back. And turn, just two movements. Number three is coming. One more, one and two. 
Okay, ready for number three? One, two, and hold it. Just make sure we're doing both the same. Over here, extend. Now you're pulling, you see if this pull, even though this is flexibility for my joint, not flex, extend, okay? Going back, ready to move, let's go. Nice, that's the last one for mobility, then we're going to core. Let's go, push, yes. Try to make one movement. Don't stop too much, one switch down. And if you're in number three, watch for your knee. It's in this direction, not inside. Okay, last one. Feel that stretch. Good job. So, going back, taking the roll. You can place your towel if you want to. We're starting with core, coming in the plank, taking our roll to create more instability. Arms are 90 degrees and we're holding 30 seconds over here. It's just 30 seconds, okay? Chin away, hip pulling to your belly button. 15 seconds to go and hold. Control that, okay? So we're starting with the first set, just holding it and turning the roll and turning the body. Hold it, it's much more difficult now because it's instability, you see I'm shaking. Hold, side plank. Cross your legs, if you wanna have more stability, hold it. Good. Hip is high, 15 seconds to go. Press the roll down. You see I'm shaking, it's more work for my muscles. Keep the stability in four, three, two, one. I'm changing side. Hold it, take your time. Make sure the roll is in one line to your elbow. And hold. Lift your hip. Straighten your legs. Good, give me 15 seconds of it. Hold. Good. Higher. It's just four more beats. For four. For three. For two. And one, come to the center. Level two, we're keeping the roll. We work dynamic, up and down, starting with the front plank. Just exhale, and make sure if you wanna have it a little bit easier, just open your feet in four, three, two, and butt ups on the roll. 30 seconds. Yes. Don't close your hands. If you wanna work for your posture and your shoulder plates, always separate your hands. So now it's not a booty workout. I'm not pushing my booty up. I'm just taking my belly button into, pulling it up to my spine, roll and hold. For four, for three, for two, and turning the roll. This is a little bit tricky. Hold, but now lift, 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 lift. It's hard. I am having a support with my hand. Up, eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Lift your leg. Five. Four to go. Four. Three. Ooh, that's hard. Two. You gotta change side. You can drop your knee to make sure you have the rolling position. Control and go. One. If it's too easy, hands are free. Up. Down. Up. Down. 15 seconds, lift your leg. Eight, seven, six. Good, good, come on. Just four more reps. Four, three, two, and relax. Good job. So there is, if, you, if you're watching for the body, it's a frontal chain, it's a lateral chain, but what is with the back chain? So we'll do a plank in the back chain taking the roll, lifting your hip, placing your feet on the floor, lifting your hip. Four more minutes to go. You see, 
this is, if this is stiff, it's really hard to extend. If this is weak, if it's not strong, it's really hard to extend. So hold it, give your best. And the roll makes it much more harder. You know that hip lift is easy. But taking the roll, you feel more tension, all that small muscles in your legs, in your back chain, glutes, lower spine. Lift your hip, hold it for 15 seconds. Woo! Good. Hold, level one. I have to get higher also. Push. Yes. For four, three, two, relax. I know you're happy because sometimes it's really like getting a cramp over there. Really fast in hamstrings. Okay. Let's go up with one leg and hold. 15 seconds. Single leg. Point to your toes and lift up. Hold. Ooh, low cramp for four, for three, for two, don't drop, just change. 15 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, lift, two, and one. Okay, just place the roll to the side, good job. Coming up, sitting position. We're staying in that back chain, placing your hands. You can go like this or like this, what you feel comfortable with, okay? Now we're going back and touching the toes. Touch, reach. Okay, if this is easy, go further, lean back. You can go further with placing hands to the head, turning your upper body, rotate, rotate, rotate. Good. And more speed. Keep going. Just a few more seconds. We have one more minute of workout for your core. Good. Keep going. 15. 8. Rotate. 7. 6. 5. Level 1. 4. 3. 2. Relax. I need one more round of 30 seconds. I think 30 seconds is enough. Um, but you have to lift the body away from the floor. Okay, lift. Same exercise with more balance. Touch back. Keep control. Yes, 15 seconds in that speed. Control. Lift the booty. Good. If you have that, Go further, a bit more speed, 15 seconds. Yes, touch your toe, touch. Straighten your legs, good. For eight, seven, six, five, four. <laughs> touch, three, two, and one. Ta-da! Good job. <laughs> it's a good combination. You know, to get prepared even before the workouts, what we have on that channel, you can do mobility, you can do core, or you can separate, do the mobility, do the exercise, and do the core on another day. But it's a nice workout. It's in sport motoric skills, it's not always endurance or strength, or coordination or speed. Remember, flexibility, movements, to get better in your performance, to recover more, and to feel healthy, okay? Thanks for joining, I hope you enjoyed the class. we we'll see you next week on number 16, and it will be, a fight workout, I think. Okay, let's go for YouTube, Fit 7-Eleven. Bye-bye, see you next week. Bye-bye, ciao.